Assalamu alaikum and thank you for viewing Dog Works. I am your host, Saudi Mam. Many remain silent for fear of being labeled politically incorrect. That's where I come in. And oh, by the way, I'm just saying. This video is in response to a response video by our dear friend, Mr. Akeem Halim, further explaining why he supposedly rejected Islam. First it was, Assalamu alaikum. This is your brother Akeem Halim. Then there was, Hotel, underarm sweat. Nazi boots, skinny jeans, Islam, peace. Now it's peace. What's going on? I'm dumber than a box of smooth rocks. I'm mad at God. A lot of things I don't quite understand. You know what? I doubt even if a God even exists. Ah, uh, reminds me of the great thinkers of the past. Not, but seriously. Man can only think within a sphere. This is why, before even discussing the existence of a creator, we must first explore the limitations of mind. That is, the human intellect and its capacity. He claims that before leaving Islam, that he was fully in Islam. Huh? What? This seems to be an attempt to qualify himself as a legitimate ex-Muslim. But of course, there's no such thing as an ex-Muslim as in one who sincerely believed, then subsequently disbelieved. That's like a bisexual deciding one day to go full gay. Hey man, Mr. Akeem Halim, you are always fully religiously gay. I'm just saying. He even questions the qualifications for entering heaven. Silly. Every higher institution or state of being has its own qualifications. That's like complaining about the qualifying standards to get into Stanford or Harvard. But I guess you don't believe those universities actually exist, huh? Simply, Islam requires that we ponder two matters directly before accepting the peripheral. Whether or not a single creator exists, whether or not this creator communicated to his creation, through the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Only after number one is accepted is there a need to ponder over number two. But after number two is accepted, how does an intellectual being dispute this communication from the Creator detail for detail? I'm just saying. Seems to me that intelligence was always the missing component in the curious case of Mr. Benjamin Akeem Button. Sounds to me like Mr. Akeem Halim is more perplexed about why there is not a heaven on earth. Life is life, which involves death, natural or seemingly senseless. Interestingly, when Islam ruled, the number of senseless deaths were few. And just because you have doubt about a thing does not mean that the thing in question is indeed doubtful. I'm just saying. This is clearly just another case of self-importance. If I were to stand on any corner, on any city block, I am only significant there. But on the opposite of the very same block, I am insignificant. Now extend that concept to the world. And FYI, your father is far from a Sunni Muslim or even Muslim at all. As a matter of fact, your father is a card-carrying kafir of the Moorish Science Temple. Pick a dean. Any dean. Can't be both, baby. I'm just saying. Mr. Akeem Halim went from pretending to worship what made man to worshiping what man made. Namely, that Moorish science gibberish. And only an intellectual deficient would buy into it. Just go to YouTube and take a listen. Here's one link. Nuff said, in real talk, man, that fool was scared. <laughs> he called me on the phone, dang near in tears. 
Assalamu alaikum, brother. What should I do? They gonna get me, brother. In summary, Mr. Akeem Halim is merely a frightened little boy trying to find his way, not possessing even a standard level of rationality. And I totally understand the interest and why he supposedly left pretend Islam. It's the very same reason that we go to the zoo, simply for the non-intellectual entertainment. I'm just saying. This has been, oh wait a minute, I can answer every single question that you may have concerning my dean and its creed. That's if you are open to dialogue. This has been Saudi Man for Dawa Works. Assalamu alaikum.